Dirty Trick's Dirty Bomb Ingredients Go Missing from Chernobyl After Russian Troops Take Over Nuke Site Ingredients that could be used to make a dirty bomb have gone missing from Chernobyl. Russian soldiers stormed the nuclear power plant on March 9 and held workers at gunpoint in the early days of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In the Russian advance, looters raided a radiation monitoring lab in Chernobyl village and are said to have made off with radioactive isotopes used to calibrate instruments and pieces of radioactive waste that could be mixed with conventional explosives to form a dirty bomb that would spread contamination over a wide area. Anatoly Nosovsky, director of the Institute for Safety Problems of Nuclear Power Plants ISPNPP, in Kiev, told Science the Institute also has a separate lab in Chernobyl which contains even more dangerous materials. These include powerful sources of gamma and neutron radiation used to test devices, Nosovsky said, as well as intensely radioactive samples of material leftover from the infamous unit for meltdown in 1986. Worryingly, Nosovsky said he has now lost contact with the lab and so, the fate of these sources is unknown to us. On the first day of the Russian invasion, February 24, troops poured across Ukraine's border with Belarus, just 15 kilometers from Chernobyl and ISPNPP managers were ordered to evacuate most staff. Within two hours, 67 people had cleared out while two who live in Chernobyl village remained to keep an eye on the lab. ISPNPP senior scientist Maxim Savelyev said, We've lost contact with these brave people. By 5 p.m., Russian troops had gained control over the facilities at Chernobyl. A deal was struck by shift supervisor Valentin Gaiko where the plant's Ukrainian guards would disarm and the Russian troops would not interfere with the civilian workers, Nosovsky said. But for nearly a month, workers were effectively held hostage as soldiers forbade a shift change and confiscated any mobile phones. Workers, in an act of defiance, played Ukraine's national anthem every morning and cranked up the volume, according to Nosovsky. Earlier this week though, the soldiers allowed fresh staff to rotate in but some captive workers chose to stay in order, not to put at risk people who should come in their place. Nosovsky labeled the assault on Chernobyl, as well as other nuclear installations in Ukraine, as nothing short of state-sponsored nuclear terrorism. Workers at Chernobyl also say Russian soldiers who seized Chernobyl drove their armored vehicles without radiation protection through a highly toxic zone called the Red Forest, kicking up clouds of radioactive dust. Two sources told Reuters soldiers in the convoy did not use any anti-radiation gear. The second Chernobyl employee said that was suicidal for the soldiers because the radioactive dust they inhaled was likely to cause internal radiation in their bodies. Both men said they had witnessed Russian tanks and other armored vehicles moving through the Red Forest, which is the most radioactively contaminated part of the zone around Chernobyl. Concerns have also been raised about the wildfires that erupted on March 11, which were ignited in the nearby radioactive forests, which harbor radioisotopes that were disgorged in the accident and taken up by plants and fungi. The Russian military have prevented firefighters from entering the exclusion zone, according to Nosovsky. The fires are still burning and could grow more intense as the weather warms and release radiation that could lead to significant deterioration of the radiation situation in Ukraine and throughout Europe. Measurements taken remotely indicate radioactive particle concentrations in the smoke do not pose a health hazard, he added but an automated radiation monitoring system that went down in the power outage has not yet been brought back online. But Victor Dolan, research director of the Institute for Environmental Geochemistry in Kiev, warned, there is no information on the real situation in the exclusion zone.